facilitate the participation of family units around the world in achieving the MDGs. Families, despite their economic and social contribution to societies, are seldom the focus of major policy initiatives. La famille est l'élément naturel et fondamental de la société et a droit à la protection de la société et de l'État. Le bien-être de la famille se situe donc au carrefour entre la sphère publique et la sphère privée. D'une part, la famille incarne une affaire privée. We need to demonstrate that families should be at the center of social and economic policies. And development of policies for poverty eradication, for work family balance, and for intergenerational solidarity should be promoted at all levels, since it contributes to the well-being of families and society at large. Still, in the majority of countries, the, women, um, the women's burden of care is uh, much larger. So, thinking about the further action um, that we want to have on these issues, and taking into account all the trends that I, I, I mentioned, um, we think it's important to raise awareness of these issues, and this meeting helps to do that. Intergenerational solidarity is going to be affected by this. Pension burdens are huge. Uh, by the time the generation that's being born today is right in the middle of their work period, uh, pension costs may have doubled. Um, so we have to think quite hard about sustainability and um, dependency in OST countries. We're also uh, concerned about unused labour supply. I'm not going to talk about it a great deal, but you'll know that income inequality is highly associated to poverty in families, um, particularly marketing <coughs> inequality, that's before governments have a go at taxing and transferring their way to a better uh, life for families. And um, mostly this is driven by earnings inequality within the family. Les mesures appropriées afin d'améliorer la réconciliation vie familiale, vie professionnelle. Celles-ci doivent se révéler dans les courants de trois années qui suivent, appropriées, concrètement réalisables et accessibles à tous les personnes. It is important that we look at public policies in general, not only from the perspective of the impact of the crisis and the austerity, but in the meantime, something much more. Uh, long term is happening, and that's the demographic change in Europe. Crisis with the austerity measures and the problems with uh, lack of growth for the moment. We have focused very much on employment, on activation towards employment, and we have also focused very much on youth unemployment.